important before starting your treatment to talk to your physician about your risk of infertility and the options that you have to preserve it. Sometimes some people prefer to go ahead with the treatment as soon as possible and do not wish to preserve their fertility, which is fine. But you need to know your risks and you need to know your options. In men, chemotherapy can affect testicles, which makes sperms. These effects can be permanent or temporary. It depends on the type and duration of chemotherapy and the age of person. In women, chemotherapy can affect ovaries, which makes eggs and estrogen. Estrogen is a hormone which is required for fertility. Again, the effects may be permanent or temporary. It depends on the age of the person and the type and duration of chemotherapy. The younger the person, the more likely they can recover from the effect of chemotherapy. During chemotherapy, a woman's menstruation may stop. This doesn't mean necessarily that they are infertile. They can still get pregnant. So proper contraception is required because chemotherapy can affect birth defects. Some of them, not all of them. On the other hand, if the menstruation periods recover after completion of chemotherapy, it doesn't mean necessarily that the woman is still fertile. A fertility expert is needed to assess the ability of a woman to conceive. There are options both for men and women to preserve fertility. In men, it's the most common method is sperm banking. It is also called semen cryopreservation. Um, an amount of semen and sperms are collected. It's checked under the microscope in the lab to make sure the number and quality is good. And then they are frozen and kept for future use. In women, um, there are many different methods. Um, two of them, which are usually for young women um, who are still in the fertility age, is embryo preservation. It means that uh, a, woman, a woman's egg is fertilized with a sperm, then it's collected and uh, frozen and kept in banking for future use. Another method is um, oocyte or egg preservation, uh, which collects a woman's eggs, not the embryo and freezes that for future use when it's thawed, then they can be fertilized with a sperm. Another method for women's fertility preservation is a use of a hormone called gonadotropin releasing hormone, which basically shut down the ovaries uh, in terms of their production of estrogen and oocytes or eggs. That way, um, the woman's ovaries are less likely to be affected by chemotherapy because usually chemotherapy affects rapidly dividing cells and ovaries are one of them and if you shut them down they are less likely to be affected. Having said that, this method is new and more research is needed to assess the effectiveness of this method in preservation of fertility. Now I want to talk a little about the effect of immunotherapy and targeted therapy on fertility in both men and women. These drugs are relatively new, so we need more information and more data. But we know some drugs like thalidomide or lenalidomide can cause severe birth defects. So both in men and women in reproductive age, it's very important that a proper contraception method is used. Even after completion of the treatment, these drugs may stay in semen for several months, so caution needs to be taken. Um, some tyrosine kinase inhibitors, which are targeted therapies, can also cause infertility and birth defects. Uh, Bevesuzumab, which is a kind of biologic and um, targeted therapy, can cause ovarian failure. So, a drug not being a cytotoxic chemotherapy and being immunotherapy or targeted therapy does not mean that it will not cause damage 
to the ovaries or testicles and do not cause infertility. Hormonal therapies can sometimes be used for treatment of some kinds of breast cancer and uh, they also can cause infertility. Some of them like tamoxifen may not cause infertility but can cause birth defects. So it's very important that caution is taken to uh, have proper contraception during these treatments. Some of these hormonal treatments are reversible and if the duration is not too long, uh, people can preserve their fertility after discontinuation of this treatment.